Hi everyone, Christy from the Hypothesis team here, and today I want to talk about how you can use annotation to make your in-class discussions more engaging and lively. I'm going to specifically go over three strategies today, using tags and annotations, having an annotation opening activity, and having students take ownership of a passage. In all of these scenarios, they probably would work best if you have students annotate their readings before they come to class. In strategy one, students can tag their annotations with certain words to indicate that they'd like to talk about the topic in class. So for example, you could have students use the tag question if they have a question that they'd like reviewed in class, or you can even simply have them add the word discussion to the tags so that they can flag it as a topic they'd like to explore more. Then when you are teaching your live class, you can bring the annotations up, show them on the screen and search for those tags, display the annotations and warm call those students into the discussion. Ask them to elaborate on what they were talking about in the annotation or maybe what their misunderstanding was for their question and use that as a conversation starting point. In the second strategy, you can have students review annotations as an opening activity. I'm not actually asking you to have students annotate live in class, although you certainly could do that if you wanted. In this particular strategy, you would again have students annotate before they come into class. And then if they have devices with them in class, you could have the students pair up or get into small groups and take the first 10 minutes or so to review the annotations that have been made on the document and make note of common themes or questions or topics they'd like to dig into further. Then you can have the pairs or groups report out on what they saw in the annotations and use that as a launch point for your class discussion. In the final strategy, you can have students take ownership of a passage. As they read and annotate, they can find a passage that they would like to own or be responsible for discussing in class, select that passage, and simply add an annotation with their name. That way students come into class and they are ready to go. They know what portion of the reading they're responsible for talking about and there are no surprises or wondering whether or not students have completed that portion of the reading. So those are just three ideas on how you can use hypothesis social annotation to make your in-class discussions more engaging with students. Hope this was helpful and see you next time.